Good morning. Today is Monday and we are off to Moncock in search of a camera. We're going to do a little bit of cafe hopping and get some lunch. the camera and today we're off to Kwai Fong to get the lens for it and then cafe hopping and some shape. Yes. We just had a very quick breakfast at Kwai Fong Plaza. We're now heading over to the MTR station to meet up with this guy from Carousel who is selling us his used lens. Oh. 
，你買唔買到啊？七九九，乜都睇到啊！幫我買到啊！好多嘢睇。Vic is buying a new TV remote placement. Gentle April rain that stained the window panes last night is all but gone. Yo, what's up? Oh, you see that?
we haven't done an AMA in a long time, so we thought we'd ask you guys on Instagram and our YouTube community some questions, so we'll answer them right now, right here. We know that AMAs can sound very self-indulgent from influencers, but we're gonna try to keep it quick and simple. First question. How did you meet Vic? If you guys didn't know, our mutual friend introduced us when Vic moved to Hong Kong six, seven years ago. Seven years ago. Number two, how long Sam and you have been married for? Since 2019, December 29th. I knew my Paul Paul wasn't doing very well, so we decided two weeks before we flew back to Canada to sign the papers there. So we were legally married, <laughs> but we never really did a, a full ceremony. wedding. Yeah. Yeah. We were planning on doing a ceremony in 2020, but then COVID hit and we just never planned anything in the end. How tall are you guys? <laughs> uh, I'm six feet. Sam is 5'9", 5'8". 5'8". Must visits in Hong Kong. Obviously the peak. The peak. Lucas Star Road Ferry. Hike, Star Ferry. Uh, Avenue of Stars. Avenue of Star Harbor. I mean, this is really generic stuff, but uh, I think it's worth doing it. How about take a tram? And if you can, Sham should pull for coffee shops. But we already did a four days in Hong Kong vlog. You should yeah, just watch, watch it there. That that I think that's the most comprehensive link tip here. tour that we have. Do you or Vic speak Cantonese? Oh shit, gone, shush. I'm kidding, yeah, we know, speak Cantonese. Sila, Sila. But I can't read. He yeah. can read. I can read Tats menu stuff. Menus. Yeah, order drinks. But if you want to go deep, talk about spiritual, political stuff. Nah. Bettina Lim asks, Hi Sam and Victor, any hotel recommendations at Hong Kong? Thanks. East Eaton. Hotel. Oh. Eaton. H Eaton H Hotel is in Jordan. Yeah. It's very East Hotel vibes. Uh, East Hotel in Taiku, because they're more family East oriented. East and then I heard Page Hotels is very good. Fancier ones? I don't know, do you guys want fancy ones? But we've shown a lot of fancy ones. But the ones that we just recommended are more... Grand Hyatt has good chicken rice. <laughs> and milk tea. <laughs> Vintage Spikes ask, what's your favorite thing about Hong Kong? I want to move there. My favorite thing about Hong Kong is that you're in such close proximity to all your friends because it's very convenient to take the MTR tram, just walk to your friends, so we get to hang out with our friends a lot and do a lot of spontaneous things together. Whereas in Toronto, it's different. You actually have to drive to see your friends and it yeah. might take an hour to get there, so I think it's yeah, a traffic. lot harder. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I like the fast paced here, like things happen here and a lot quicker in terms of photography, there's so much to shoot. It's kind of like a paradise for photographers. Hey Hazel asks, Cafe recommendations in Shenlan. One, halfway coffee. Mine is Harakaka. And Elixir. Elixir. Mark Yeps asks, what hike do you recommend for a first time in Hong Kong? Lagarde Road. Yeah, Lagarde <laughs> Road. Which we also did in the vlog. Oh. Elaine asked, is it safe for female solo travelers in Hong Kong? Yes, super safe because there's people everywhere. Click clacky YYC. Where are you traveling next? We will be going to south of Japan in October with our friends and their kids. Driving again. What apps, filters, camera do you use to edit your travel vlogs? For shooting, my iPhone 14 Pro Max is my ride or die. And for editing, we use Final Cut Pro. Eats asks, and sorry for the double question, but how do you find the music for your vlogs? Uh, I used to use Thematic, I got tired of it, and then now I'm using Epidemic Sound and YouTube audio library. Oh yeah, that's free. See, Knuckles ask, what are your favorite coffee beans from Japan you have brought home? On that note, we just did order a new set from Fuglin. Yes. We also love Passage in Tokyo and Mermaid in Hokkaido. Yeah. Danny Sun asked, have you and Victor ever fight? If so, how did you resolve the conflict? Do we ever fight? We always oh. fight. We always, no. We don't always fight, we always bicker. I always annoy her. Yeah, he's very annoying. But in terms of creative, I think we're pretty aligned. Yeah. And I can't stay mad at him for so long because he's so... Funny. Silly. Martin Faber asks, Love your work, thank you. What tips would you give to beginners, photographers, to improve? I think for me is to, first of all, don't ever stop shooting. And number two is a must. Just have fun with it and don't be afraid to show everything. Right now, like Instagram is just so saturated that it's good to show process and behind the scenes of what you're shooting and your process of like what it took to take that photo. What are your favorite go-to shoes? 
Converse, <laughs> Converse all the way. Chuck Taylor 70s. Yeah. And I love getting the ones in Japan because they have more styles and colors there. Oh yeah. So tomorrow I asked, where's your golden letter chain from? Thanks. The one I'm wearing it, it says Sam. I got it from Baichari in LA. I don't have one. Joy C underscore ask, what camera lens do you recommend? For me, 2470 is the most, I guess, versatile travel portraits. Interiors, exteriors. This Megan Grace asks, do people come up to you often to take pics? More for her, and that's me to take a photo for her. <laughs> he would love it if you took photos of they, it. They call me Vince. <laughs> Vincent. How is your eyes now after the relax smile eye surgery? It's great. I do have a little bit of astigmatism still, but overall it's way better than what I first started off with. Support by Design asks, I have a short layover in Hong Kong. Any authentic food in the airport? Thanks. There's a... Tasty congee, yeah. saying that. They serve wonton noodles and congee, so if you're looking for some local flavors, you can go there. Kina Blum asked, how do you plan out your vlog? I usually plan out my vlogs on a week-to-week -week basis, but I do have a, in my notes a list of topics I have for every week, so I know exactly what I'll be shooting. And then I kind of just shoot random content as the week rolls by. Are you guys from Toronto originally? Yep. Yes, but we met in Hong Kong. It's best equipment for solo travelers on a budget but want to document their trip. Mm. This Monopod. Thing. This thing. iPhone. I love my iPhone. Best thing ever. How do you guys balance your passion with the practical aspects of your life? Life is work, man. Work is life. Do you style Victor? Love his sartorial choices. In my white t-shirts? Yeah. No, he styles himself. He has a very strong preference on what he, what he wants to wear, so. Lisa Joe asked, what brand model is your espresso machine? The one right here behind me is the Linea Mini by La Marzoc. She also asked, I'm wondering, do you guys buy your own health insurance in HK? Yes, we do. We're with AIA and we also get free movie tickets if we walk over 7,500 steps per day. How do you guys cope with the constant packing and unpacking then jetting away? <laughs> I don't know, I quite like it. I find it quite therapeutic to pack and unpack and get things cleaned. Yeah, I mean, I don't unpack right away. I just kind of leave it there until Sam is mad at me for it. <laughs> and I do all the laundry, so that helps. Thank you. Leah13 asks, how do you keep your love life alive while working with each other? Random dates, I guess movie nights, a lot of Netflix at night to wind down. Yeah, that sounds kind of wrong. Insta Leilani asked, when was a moment you knew you'd be great travel buddies and partners? When I first landed in Hong Kong, I didn't know Sam, but then it turns out she was like kind of the male version, I mean the female version <laughs> of me. Brody Jean asked, did you know Vic was going to propose when he did? No, I didn't. It was a complete surprise. Yeah. We'll put the video here somewhere. <laughs> Imagine asked, any advice about starting a travel channel on YouTube? You two are doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Um, I wouldn't start a travel channel. I would find several niches because having to do one video a week is a lot of money. So find several niches and full travel in there when you're trying to save up for your next trip. That's good. Would you move back to Toronto in the future? Uh, thought about a lot of the question. I think eventually we would. Bill River asks, your YouTube videos hit different for being iPhone. Thank you. <laughs> 4K 30 or 24 and does it even matter? Need help. Help. Uh, the help I'm giving you right now is 4K 30 always, because 30 is I guess like the most common to the eye when you're watching uh, just any video. Yeah. Ellie Lai asked, "How and why become a YouTuber?" I just really enjoy editing vlogs. I find it very therapeutic to edit long form content as opposed to yeah. short Three form minutes. reels. <laughs> yeah. So we have videos that are 45 minutes long. If you have that. <laughs> Uh, attention span. Yeah. <laughs> Any fans meeting? Hong Kong, yeah, something I can't read the right. Hong Kong, yeah, Ju Dong Ging, Hojongi Lei, Hojongi Tai Lei, I don't know, Peen. Uh, we're just... quite shy, so you know. we're kind of awkward too in person. But feel free to hit us up if you see us on the street. Maybe streets. just like one on one meetup. Yeah, I'm an introvert. Our go to thrift stores. For me, it is Valley Village when I go back to Toronto. I love Valley Village. She's always there. Ask, would you consider living in Japan and why? I would love to live in Japan. <laughs> Someone actually asked me the other day, why don't you just buy a house there? And I'm like, it's not a bad idea. Actually. <laughs> you know, you know how like Canadians have cottages in Muskoka? Yeah. Do you think we can have a cottage in, Tokyo? in Japan? I don't know, somewhere in the farmland. I don't know if that's even possible. <laughs> 
Lamb asked, do you guys have day jobs apart from making vlogs and holidaying? Well, we are full-time freelancers, so we take photos for brands, for clients, for their platforms on social media or for prints. So our income comes through that revenue, and also we do prints and, uh, and YouTube. We create content that you guys don't see, and it's for brands, and yeah, that's it. And from Caron to Places, she asked, have you guys been to Busan and Jeju Island? Uh, yes, we have been to Busan when we went to Seoul, and we'll link it up here. We're now going to answer some questions off of our YouTube community. Could you share the top five on your travel bucket list and why are they? I don't have much on my bucket list. The only thing I really, really want to do is to take a sleeper train from one point A to point B because I think it's really West Anderson and I'd love to just shoot yes. it. For me, it was driving in Japan, which happened last month. So I'm good. You're good. I would love to do Italy one day, you know, do a whole road trip. And then I would like to do south of France. You guys find aesthetics cafes and cool visiting spots all from Google or any sites? I look at more local Instagram accounts to find cool cafes, but majority of the time I just use Google. I usually just pin where our hotel is and then I just like zoom in and out of the area and then find places. Any tips how you became accustomed to left side driving? Driving in Japan is the best because everyone's so polite and so gentle. There's no honking. Daily homemade coffee recipes, please. Mostly all espresso, sometimes tonic espressos, and sometimes, if I'm more adventurous, orange juice espresso. You haven't done that one in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite trip last year and what was the best meal in the last year? For me, it was the month long trip in Japan because the board just opened up, so we went there right away. For me, it was definitely Paris. It was like our first actual trip right after COVID, and it was the best seven days the ever. Peak. Yeah, that was my peak in my life. I feel like I peaked at that time. <laughs> How do you guys tidy your home? It always looks so nice. It is actually always messy, and I just, have to admit, we always will clear the space yeah, if we need to shoot. It. Yeah. If you see it behind this camera, it's, yeah. Will you do more fashion related videos? Probably not, because I don't think I have very good sense of fashion. I'm just literally wearing a vintage t-shirt and he's in his uniform. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed that little Q&A that wasn't too boring or long-winded. We didn't answer your question. Send us a DM and we'll answer it there hopefully. But in the meantime, we'll see you in our next Hong Kong vlog. Bye.